draft a Russian because you don't know what's going to happen, right? Well, you know, they have a really good league over there, and they're comfortable playing Kucherov over there. Kucherov gets it away to Grigorenko. Back to Kucherov. Stop by their league, and they score on the rebound. Mikhail Grigorenko. one nothing Russia. Well, there becomes a point in time where the goaltender can only do so much and only make so many heroic saves, and he did that here, but you gotta love Grigorenko staying with the play, head up, following it, and then getting to the net, and having the poise and the patience to take the puck and pull it back and then get it up and over the goaltender. Just a really good exhibition of Grigorenko's, not only his skill, the good puck skills. Three shots, I beg your pardon, two shots in the first. Kucherov had three. Yakupov back to line to Arzamatsev, back to Niall Yakupov. Cross ice pass, there's the shot, scores! Lester cleanly beats Elvis top shelf. Artem Sergeyev makes it 2 0 Russia. And you think about Artem Sergeyev here, he kind of has to hesitate on the initial pass from Yakupov, and I think that that just sets Elvis off his positioning just enough for this puck to go over his shoulder. You see it just kind of hesitate there with the, uh, and then he flips it up over the top of the net, and I think it was just enough for Elvis to overplay it, just enough. But I love the way Yakupov passed that puck across. That was a nice pass. <laughs> I'm trying to tell from those replays whether that clears it. Interesting movement by the defenseman on that power play. Quick up, took a step off, moves in, pass attempt, is broken up by Freebergs. Taligan dug it out, here's a chance, and they score right in front. Nothing he could do there, and Kuznetsov breaks through. His first goal of the tournament. You know, the Latvians had the puck, and then they turn it over, but now Yakupov recognizes that this is a great opportunity. Off his stick quickly, right to Kuznetsov coming back to the net, and you're right. No chance for Elvis on that one. And is that the goal that wakes up the Russian captain, gets him going? I know for Valerie Bragg. Kuznetsov almost pulled a groin trying to stay on side with while Gusev dips in and doodles in the neutral zone there. Here's Gusev in the corner. He's got Kucherov puck in front. Kuznetsov scores. That is a beauty. The, the beautiful thing about that is Nikita Gusev fires that puck right through the crease area, and Kuznetsov showing off the abundance of skill and taking it in one fell swoop and burying it before Elvis can get anywhere near making the save. He also, you talked about him nearly having a groin injury. That's effort to stay on side too, and that's what they're looking for for Evgeny Kuznetsov. Look at this shot. Oh, unbelievable. And that replay doesn't do the justice how much mustard was on that shot. Guess what, folks? <laughs> Guess who's arrived at the tournament? Back up to center. Gusev pushes it into the zone where it's been by Lipsburgs. Loose puck for Gusev. Gusev a little flip pass met by Kuznetsov. Kuznetsov turns away, puts it back into the middle, right in front. They score! Makes it five nothing Russia. Did you say that Kuznetsov has arrived <laughs> in a big way? And you watch now. I think one of the things for Valerie Bragg and the coach, you know, when you have experience with a top player like Kuznetsov, who has performed at the highest level at the most important times, you know what he's capable of doing, and you keep that belief. And now Kuznetsov is rewarding him in that belief. And they're going to need their captain, especially if Michael Grigorenko's injury is serious and keeps him out. Back in Russia, so that you can see the on-ice chemistry between eight and nine. Here's Kucherov to Kuznetsov. Got a three-point night on the go. First three points of the tournament. I think there's a few more coming. There's a blast. They score! One-timer from the far side by Nikita Gusev. On the receiving end from Evgeny Kuznetsov. Kuznetsov does a brilliant job here of using a little bit of a deceptive move, 
turning his back and then throwing it on the backhand right over there to Gusev. And he doesn't waste any time getting it off his stick, but you got to like this creativity by Kuznetsov. Beautiful play. And that's four points now for Kuznetsov. And they need him. You think George McPhee's liking this game a little bit better <laughs> than the first two? The general manager of the Washington Capitals is no doubt keeping track. It's number 10. Oh, look out. Here they come right in front. Gusev scores! Second goal of the game for Gusev. He and Kucherov will lights out. You know, Kuznetsov moving them to the middle of the ice where Grigorenko was, which is a story in itself. But Kuznetsov's versatility, his ability, his smarts to be able to play in there, he just gives it a little flip. They had two guys lined up on the left side of the ice, on the left wing side, that allowed them to create that quick two-on-one down the middle of the ice. And that's a set play off the faceoff by the Russians, lining up Kucherov and Gusev to the left of... Played a good game against Russia, lost 3-0. Despite the fact they have played him, here comes Kuznetsov in over the line, drops it off, Kulikov scores! Kulikov the goal, and you can give another assist to Evgeny Kuznetsov, sixth point of the night. Start of the third period, played on the right wing with Kulikov and Zemchenko, and the magic of his offensive night doesn't seem to have an end. Just a great play hitting Kulikov coming down the middle of the ice. But when you make yourself dangerous like Kuznetsov has throughout the game, you have to respect him. He draws a defender to him and then just slides it over to the street. Allowed a goal in his five plus periods that he's played now. Here's Yakupov, drops it off. Kokochev right and scores. And the floodgates have opened up on Latvia. Russia is all over them. Yes, they are. You see Yakupov using that speed, but then showing off the great poise and waiting. He looks like he may look at Taligan, but finds the late arriving Koklachev. Koklachev knows how to finish. That's the third point for Yakupov. Boy, poor Brazilich. He was left all alone on that one. Timeout Latvia. As Latvia started this period miserably, they were already down 7 nothing. but... Russia, they see the, the green light is on, flashing green. Look at this, Gusev moves in, drops it off, cutting in, Kuznetsov scores! Do you believe this? <laughs> well, believe it, because Evgeny Kuznetsov is putting on an offensive clinic. Last uh, In their last game, when he pulled up in that spot, he didn't get anything off, but he comes right into here. What a great pass starting this off. Kucherov on the hard backhand to Gusev, and then Gusev says, okay, Mr. Kuznetsov, you have the hot hand. Let's see just how hot it is. And poor Elvis again. I mean, you're right alone against one of the world's best 20 and under players. Good luck. This is remarkable, what is going on here, because he finished last year's tournament with 11 points after a slow start. He's got seven tonight. Three goals, four assists. Now, the record at the World Juniors for most points in one. Kulikov walks it over the line, and he moves in. He's walked all the way around the net, centers it, and that was broken up, goes back in behind the net and around the boards. Arza Matsev in front, they score again! Quick release, Zinchenko, 11-0. It doesn't matter what line Kuznetsov gets out there with. I'm thinking they could put in Tipin up on the forward line and Zeldikov and they'll score the way he's going right now with Kuznetsov. I mean, Zinchenko, here comes the play down below, a little kick pass, I think, that ends up on the stick, it might be the eighth point of the night for Kuznetsov. Well, we'll have to wait and see. He did, I don't know, I think he touched it with his yes, stick. Sir. This is on the return feed. Kosov in over the line for the Russians, into the middle for a Polkov. Kosov scores! 12 nothing.
There can only be an even dozen, but Apolkov in right in the slot area, waits, allows Kosev to get open. Kosev's ready to fire that puck. They practice that in the warm-up on the two-on-ones, and you see the ability to get the puck quickly off the stick. Kosev buries it. Again, really no chance for Kosev. He's got to respect Apolkov in the slot. Broken stick is on the ice. One of the penalty killers for Latvia is without a stick. It's Klavitz. In front, Koklachev makes it 13 nothing. And we know the Russians have tremendous skill and they're displaying it in all its forms in this game. But really, for Elvis, Merz Lynch, there's no chance on these plays. These are highly skilled players, bang, bang plays, coming right down, scoring from 15 feet or in closer. He just has no chance. Well, you know, and I'm wondering, this is, according to their assistant coach, this is the guy that they want to be a goalie for them going down the road. Tries to get one past Vasilevsky. Here they come, there's Gusev, up high, Nesterov scores! And another assist, another assist for Evgeny Kuznetsov. Nine points. Coming Three in goal. here, you... Three goals, six assists, nine points on the night, one off the tournament record. Yeah, it, it, it's such an impressive performance. And let's keep in mind that he had no points at the conclusion of the first period. And 11 points. The Russians are back. 14 nothing final, led by a nine-point night for their captain, Evgeny Kuznetsov. Three goals, six assists, second-highest single-game performance in World Junior history. It was all the Big Red Machine tonight in Calgary.